Good morning guys. I am doing much better than yesterday. My face is right because I've been leaning on it. Um, I had a pretty rough night. I was, I can't even explain it. I just felt weird and restless and it was kind of hard to sleep, but um, thankfully I woke up and I felt a lot better until my sugar decided to plummet, but that's back up now. <laughs> um, and yeah, just kind of taking it easy. We are going to the shelter tomorrow. Because of the way that I felt yesterday and overnight, I just felt like it was not a very good idea to go to the shelter this morning. And so um, I wanted to give my body more time to get over whatever was going on. Because if I'm gonna be bringing home a new dog, obviously I'm gonna to wanna to be spending time with it and getting it accustomed to its new living space. And so I didn't wanna be feeling really bad and do that. So I hopefully get a new dog. This will be the third time visiting the shelter, but we'll see. Um, but I, uh, so I just decided to push that off another day and kind of glad I did because of the night and this morning was a little bit rough, but things are finally evening out and I'm going to eat again in a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Uh, it is nice to have a sensor that's accurate again. I've been I think I ended the vlog before it had warmed up, but it's only been like two points off the meter, so that's been great. Um, but I am, I did get a little bit sad earlier because I finally, um, well you can't really see it, but you can kind of see it. I finally fished Panda's collar and leash out of the um, bucket because I wanted to get some gloves. I didn't want to touch that water. And now they're drying. They don't smell anymore. They're not stained anymore. So once they're dry and gotten a good, you know, completely dry, I'm gonna put them in the memory box and that's where they're gonna stay. Um, originally I was thinking about reusing that leash, but I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just gonna put it in the memory box. So, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna see what today holds. It is, oh, wow, it's actually almost three o'clock. I didn't realize it was that late in the day. And um, gonna make the most of it, but I am glad that I am not super nauseous. Yesterday was just, I was just like nauseous and lightheaded and uh, feelings I can't even explain. I literally can't explain it. So I'm glad all of that has left and I'm feeling much more like myself. So hopefully today will be a better day and um, hope it's a good day for you guys as well. I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I realized that I talked about the memory box, but I'm not sure if it's something I ever shown on the vlog before. And since I don't have much going on today, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys. And I hate when the lighting does this. I don't want you to focus on the window. Um, so it's just literally an old, I think Christmas box. I'm pretty sure that's what it used to be. Um, I've had it, yeah, cause it's got snowflakes on it. <laughs> I've had it for, um, since at least 2015. Um, so yeah, there's just a bunch of random stuff in here, but I thought I'd show you guys. I have some plane tickets just to remember like, interesting places I went. There's um, three plane tickets in here. I think this one's from 2020. Most of these are from 2020. Yeah, this might have all been the same kind of flight. Um, just, I figured I'd throw them in there because most plane tickets I throw away, but remember flying during the pandemic. <laughs> if that's something you want to remember, but plane tickets. Um, I've got picture of Panda. Um, this might gross some people out, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, after Panda died, I collected some of his hair from a um, brush and put it in a baggie. Um, it's just like not anything I take out or open, but I just like it. Same in the way of before our cat Pansy died. Um, they shaved a little log of her fur in 2015. Um, it's just, you know, it was either take that or, or throw it out. And I couldn't bring myself to throw it out. So um, I have a note from when I was at Cedarville um, from the RA welcoming me to Printy House. And um, my college didn't last very long. It lasted a month and a half, but I like it. Um, I have, this always makes me a little bit sad. Um, I have a note that my friend Brooke sent to me um, one Christmas 
and I'm pretty sure I kept this even before she passed, but um, it's really the only thing I have except for a little bracelet that she sent me, and so um, I'm really glad that I have this. And in the vein of that, it is a little bit weird to me that next week is my birthday, and I'll be turning 23, and um, I have mixed emotions about this birthday coming up because for one, on my birthday last year, the very first thing I did was um, take Panda for a walk. Like, on my birthdays, I always like to spend time with Panda in the morning. And I mean, I did that on not my birthdays too, but it was just kind of like this special thing where I spent time with Panda. And um, the other thing was, I'll be turning 23, which is an age that she never got to reach. And it's something that kind of, like, makes me think a little bit because she was technically older than me, but she died a month after her 22nd birthday. And um, yeah, it's just uh, something that <laughs> brings tears to my eyes. Um, and it's kind of a crazy thing to think about, like, because I was 19 when she died and um, now I'm gonna be 23 and I'm thankful, but it's also kind of a hard thing to, to think about. Um, so that's depressing, but um, I have these cool little $2 bills. They were sent by my uncle um, and they have like notes talking about the $2 bill and stuff. And they're just pretty cool because you don't really see $2 bills. Um, I have a card from my sister from um, when I graduated high school. I have a, I'm not going to show the address, but I have a um, um, card from my grandma, that's the envelope. Um, I have a card from my grandma, and I think this was a Christmas card. Um, I have a card that the vet sent us when um, Pansy passed away in 2015. I have, this is really random. <laughs> this is super random. I have a, oh, I forget what they are. They were some kind of plant, like bean thing. We went camping in 2015 in Florida. 20, was it 2015? I think it was 2015. No. Was it, I don't know. 2016 maybe? Um, we went camping in Florida and it was, um, there was all these little like bean things around the place and they were super cool. And... I just wanted to keep one, so <laughs> I, put, I kept one. <laughs> Super random, but they're really cool. Um, and then a postcard from my sister. So that's just what I have in there. It's just random things. I pretty much never open the box, honestly, but um, it's nice to have. And Panda's collar and leash will be going in there um, once they dry out. And I'm pretty sure they'll fit. I mean, you can kind of squish them. So eventually this box will run out of space but um it's just nice to have things that remind you of people you love and miss and animals you love and miss and um good times at college and just just a nice thing to have um usually it just sits in the top of my closet and doesn't go anywhere but i like it Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here since I already have so much footage. Um, I hopefully will come home with a dog tomorrow in the vlog. Um, I am really hoping we'll find one. I've been looking at the page today and most of them are over the weight limit. There's like an 102 pound dog that would totally go over well, weighs more than me. <laughs> um, there was this really cute Shih Tzu poodle mix, which I didn't think I was in the like small dog wanting a small dog but unfortunately she got adopted but we'll see what's who's there tonight because then that's gonna be who's there tomorrow morning um but I'm just giving all the options you know if I end up with a small dog I end up with a small dog I've never had a small dog but he kind of kind of fun um the smallest dog we've ever had is Yachty he's a beagle but um anyway so we'll see I think it'll help me a lot too because I've been thinking about Panda a lot I think because I've been dealing with his collar and leash and all this stuff um, and just really missing him and no dog I get will ever replace Panda ever he was my heart dog but something else to focus on and it's actually interesting because right after he died I was like 
I'm not sure when I'll get another dog, maybe sometime around my birthday, and here I am around my birthday, and I'm really wanting another dog, so we'll see. Maybe third time's the charm, maybe it's not. We'll see what happens tomorrow, um, but I'm just gonna relax the rest of today and chill out and uh, make the most of it. So I'm just glad to be much like 85% human yesterday instead of like I mean, 85% human today instead of just like 25% human yesterday. So <laughs> with that, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.